Hello there. In this video, we're going to introduce kingdom fungi in general and uh, a particular fungus called Rhizopus in particular. This is Rhizopus right here that you see in front of us. Picture from your textbook. What is Rhizopus commonly called? Bread mold. That's right, bread mold. And uh, so if you had a piece of moldy bread out in front of you, what would it look like? Well, it looked kind of fuzzy. Why is that? Well, because of all these threads. Um, fungal colonies are typically fuzzy because of all these threads. These threads are, excuse me, a common feature of kingdom fungi. Virtually all fungi, with very few exceptions, make these threads. So what are these threads up to? Well, they're involved in the fungus making a living. We'll actually save the exact uh, uh, method for the next little video, but let's take a closer look here. Now, this is a picture I took, this one and the next one. And we see these round structures, which are involved in reproduction, and all these threads that are just involved in day-to-day -day making a living. And so there's a term for these threads. They are called hyphae, H-Y-P-H-A-E, hyphae. Uh, and uh, so threads are called hyphae. And when you got a whole bunch of threads, like you do here, you got a web of threads, a web of fungal threads, is called a mycelium. Uh, M-Y-C-E-L-I-U-M. Uh, those are actually written on the board behind me right here. Hyphae and mycelium. Anytime you see M-Y-C in a word, whether it's a medicine or whatever, uh, that refers to fungi. And so, hyphae are the individual threads. Mycelium is the web formed by the threads. And uh, now Rhizopus in particular has these round structures. What in the world are they? Well, they are... Um, they're on a stalk, for one thing. You see that? You can see this stalk here for this one. And around the outside, all around the outside, um, is a sack, so to speak, in which little round things are produced. Little round things. What are those little round things called? They are called spores. Spores. Little round things called spores. And so, uh, uh, what are these spores going to do? And eventually, this, uh, this structure will open up. The spores will go floating off in the breezes. And the spores will spread rhizopus around to other pieces of bread. Uh, and the type of reproduction we're talking about here is asexual reproduction. And uh, here's another picture of one of those spore-producing structures. And you can see it splitting open. These are all the little spores, uh, which would have, if they hadn't been preserved for this uh, particular picture with an electron microscope, they would have gone off in the breezes as well. So let's see if we got it here. Let's take it from the top. What's the name of this fungus? Rhizopus, commonly known as bread mold. And uh, bread mold, like the vast majority of fungi, uh, have threads lots of threads. What's the term for the threads? Hyphae. And when you have a whole bunch of threads, a whole bunch of threads, that's the web of fungal threads, that's called a what? A mycelium. And then for rhizopus in particular, you have these round st structures, kind of like a ball on a stick, a ball on a stick, in which there are little round things. What are those little round things called? Spores. They're called spores, that's right. And what is their function? Their function is a reproductive function. And uh, in this case, in the case of rhizopus, the spores will uh, assist, uh, will be involved in rhizopus reproducing asexually. Asexually. Here's one of those little spore producing structures right here. And uh, uh, all the little spores inside, uh, the uh, outer surrounding case is, uh, has, uh, has split open, the spores would then go off in the breezes to spread rhizopus uh, to other pieces of bread. All right, that's it for this one.